Cameroon won today, baby. You know what I'm saying? Carl Toko it can be. He gave them two goals back to back. I was really happy for Cameroon, though. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I was happy for them. But let's be honest, Gambia they tried their best. You know, for them to actually get to this stage in the competition of Afcon, this Afcon competition, bro, they they tried. They've been they've been incredible. Let's just be honest, man. They've been outstanding. Gambia, I give it to I give it to y'all, man. Big big ups to Gambia. But Cameroon won today, and uh, I'm happy for them. You know what I'm saying? They played really well. Kyle Toko Ikambi, two goals. You know, shout outs to um Toko Ikambi. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, we're just gonna be analyzing that game. And whew, man, that game was awesome. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> that game was awesome. Cameroon have been playing so well from the beginning of this competition till this moment, up until this moment. And those two deadly strikers in front, I'm talking about uh, Abubakar and Ikambi, those two have been awesome. I'm not going to lie. But before we go any further, guys, please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor by going down below, clicking that subscribe button and subscribe right now. Thank you very much. And also click the notification bell beside it so you can get notified whenever I post videos. Give the video a big thumbs up too. Like it so you can get to more people. You know what I'm saying? So that will actually help the channel. Thank you for that. Now, let's get back to the video. So, like I said, I'm going to be analyzing the game, right? So, guys... Um, it can't be scored two goals. It's scored in the 50th minute, you know, that's the second half, and it's scored in the 57th minute of the second half, right? So now let's talk about the team stats. Yeah, let's talk about the team stats, right? So shots. Mm. In in shorts, man, Cameroon, they outclassed Gambia. They had 18 shots while Gambia had two, right? Shots on target. Cameroon 7, Gambia 1. Ball possession outclassed them. 61% Cameroon and 39% Gambia. Passes 454 by Cameroon and 304 by Gambia, right? Pass accuracy 86% and 74% by uh, Gambia. So 86% was for Cameroon and 74 percent was was for gambia even when it comes to fouls cameroon had more fouls than uh gambia they are 15 gambia had 12 and uh so on and so forth right so um it's very clear that cameroon outclassed gambia in this game and that doesn't take anything away from gambia's performances so far in this competition they have actually tried yeah see they've tried let's be honest so um let's talk about toko ikambi man that guy did you see the first goal that is called in the 58th minute did you guys see that goal no did you see that goal trust me and like that was a difficult header that was a very very difficult header i didn't think that goal that ball was gonna was gonna end up in the back of the net i didn't think so but when a striker is good a striker is good man that's just the truth when a striker is good a striker is good he really showed his class in that game. Hands down. Abubakar too, you know, had a couple of chances, but I guess today what just wasn't his day. He played well. There was a chance where he he, he used the, he tried to use the the back of his feet, right? Like um, uh, yeah, he, he tried to score a goal with the back of his feet, but you know, a defender blocked it, like the Gambian defender blocked it, and he couldn't get to the back of the net. You know, that chance, and then he also had a chance where I think it was like later. You know, towards the end of the game, where he, um, I think he dribbled past one of the Gambian defenders. He got into the box and he tried to, you know, he sh you know, he shot the ball actually, but the keeper blocked it. And then he also had a chance, a uh, header. That was a powerful header, ferocious header. But how did the Gambian keeper keep that out? I thought that ball was going in. As soon as he headed that ball, I thought it was going straight into into that net man but the gambia keeper he, you know he was actually um he was he was up to the tax so but anyways outstanding performance from cameron congratulations to them and uh i think right now they are my favorites to um to win this competition man for 2021 talk about the african cup of nations 2021 
Stroke 2022, I think they're my favorites right now because they're playing so well. You know what I'm saying? When I see a team play so well like that, it's like, it just it makes me, it tickles something within me, within my, you know, body system. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, they, they played really, really well. And I'm impressed, man. I was actually impressed by the performance. I'm not going to lie. Cameroon, big up to y'all. Oh, Cameroon, the cradle of a father. Duh, duh, duh. I need to learn that answer, man. I even like that answer. I really like it. You know what I'm saying? I really like it. I need to learn it. I ain't going to lie. Woo, guys. Awesome. Awesome game. And, um, yeah, so let's talk about... Because in my last video, I spoke about... Um, egypt's game against morocco which is going to be taking place tomorrow you know what i'm saying and then i gave my prediction in that game if you haven't watched that video after this video you can go watch it i said um egypt they have a little edge you know a slight edge over morocco because of mosala that's just what i think though you know what i'm saying it might not be like that but that's just what i'm thinking you know we'll figure we'll, we'll find out and uh yeah that's my prediction for tomorrow's game you know between egypt and morocco and then senegal equatorial guinea um what was my prediction for that let's see let's quickly talk about senegal's performances so far and then equatorial's performances so far and we'll talk about which teams out of these two have had the strongest performances so far in this competition right so let's see senegal's game one second okay guys so senegal their first game in this competition i'm talking about march day one of three in the group stage right they played against zimbabwe and they won by a goal to zero and that was a penalty by money in the 97th minute so that was 98 minute plus seven minute it's called a penalty in the 97 minute and that saved senegal their second game in the group stage that was that's match day two of three they played against Guinea and that ended in a 0-0 draw. New nil, nil, right? And uh yeah, that ended as new new draw. And uh yeah, that was that about that. And a shout out to um the captain of Guinea, Keita, you know, the captain of Guinea, you know what I'm saying? You know, Mane and Keita, they play for Liverpool FC, you know what I'm saying? It's just like you <laughs> So you playing against your brother, they both play for Liverpool, you know what I'm saying? It's just like you're playing against your brother, but hey, that's just life, man. That's life. But shout out to um, uh, Keita, like I said. So, that ended in a 0-0 draw. And their third game in the group stage, I'm talking about Senegal, was against Malawi. That also ended in a 0-0 draw, right? So, they actually made it to the round of 16, right? So, their game in the round of 16 was against Cape Verde. They outclassed Cape Verde in that game, even though... I would say the referee made some errors in that game. There were some decisions the referee made in that game that I did not agree with, no. You know what I'm saying? And Cape Verde, I think they actually got two red cards, right? Yeah, two red cards by their goalkeeper and the first and then Vozina. So the, the goal scorers in that game were Sadio Mane and Bidieng, who scored in the 92nd minute. I hope I'm saying his name right. And uh, so the quarterfinal game is against Equatorial Guinea, and that's going to be tomorrow. So let's talk about Equatorial Guinea's uh, performances so far in this competition, and then we'll see which team has been the strongest. Okay, guys, so match day one of three, right? Equatorial Guinea played against Ivory Coast in that game, and Ivory Coast, they beat them. That was one goal to zero. You know what I'm saying? The goal was scored by Gradel. M. Gradel in the fifth minute. That was against Ivory Coast. Their second game in the competition, that was that was match day two of three in the group stage, was against Algeria. And they actually beat Algeria by a goal to zero in that game. And the goal was scored by Obono in the 70th minute of the game. You know what I'm saying? So Equatorial Guinea, they've been they've been they've been trying. They've been trying. So in their third game. Um, in their third <laughs> in their third game in the competition i'm talking about the group stage they played against Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, a, a, a player on the Sierra Leone team got a red card in the 90th minute that's key 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 and equatorial guinea ended up beating them by one goal to zero so they actually won that game and it was garnet that scored in the 38th minute right okay 
So, in the round of 16, right, they played against Mali and the game did not, they didn't actually score in normal time. The, the, the game went all the way ahead to penalties, right? And trust me, that's one of like the, the most incredible penalties I've ever seen in the world of soccer. You know what I'm saying? But long story short, Equatorial Guinea came out on top. You know what I'm saying? And they won against Mali. You know? So that's basically what it is. So based on both of the teams' performances so far, I'm talking about between uh, Senegal and Equatorial Guinea. <sighs> I don't even know. Both of them haven't really been outstanding. I'm talking about when it comes to like normal play time. I'm talking about when it comes to their playing style and you know scoring goals and um yeah basically but hey um i feel like senegal they have a, a little edge over equatorial guinea and let me let me tell you why because they have a player named sadio mani you know what i'm saying the thing about the star players is like sometimes they just they just come out and they just you know they might just create magic you know what i'm saying that's one thing about having a star player in your team because out of nowhere, they could just create magic and then that would just, you know, lead to their team winning the game or the match. You know what I'm saying? So we just never know. And uh, we all know Sadio Mane is an outstanding player. He's an incredible player for Liverpool Football Club. So he might just do his magic tomorrow. So we'll find out. So I wish all the remaining teams in the AFCON 2021 right now all the best. But I'm going to give my prediction for... I'm talking about in terms of the team that would emerge the winner of this AFCON 2021 stroke 2022 competition. And my prediction is Cameron. I feel like they have what it takes to leave that trophy, man. Because of the way they're playing right now, mm -mm. I don't think there's any other team that I'm talking about out of the remaining teams that has a chance or has a better chance than Cameron. If that makes sense and uh but i might be wrong that's just my own prediction but we're gonna find out you know this games have been interesting so far is like african football is beautiful don't get me wrong and i'm really really proud to be african i'm proud to be nigerian and wherever i go i always you know i always let i always carry that culture with me and i want you to also be proud of where you're from you know don't let that culture die but anyways guys that's just what i wanted to uh, talk about today and uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor by subscribing right now and click on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post videos. And also give this video a big thumbs up so you can go viral and other people can watch. Thank you for the love and support. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.